So I thought about your, I gave some thought to your co-DM idea. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I think it could work. Well, I just, I think, I think six is, I think six is at the ragged edge of what you can actually do. Yeah, it is. I mean, my, my big problem was reaching that level, you know, and this is actually, there's a lot of articles about this online where people say, just play one to ten. Oh, and say and say tens. <laughs> yeah, don't, because once once they get to you know twenty, what do you do to them? Yeah, they're gods almost. I mean, they're like keeping keeping the that ramp up of excitement and threat. Well, yeah, exactly. Tough. Because because the excitement, you know, is it's danger. It's danger. Yeah. And if you cannot, if you cannot create danger. Yeah. In the early part, you know, like the 1 to 10, it's like, oh, maybe there's a dragon in this cave. Let's find him and get him. Or there's some yeah. bandits who have, like, yeah, that's Exactly. At the beginning, you're like, fucking goblins. Bandits, Let's what? get them. And, you know, they've destroyed three heads of Tiamat. <laughs> like. <laughs> what do you, yeah, what do you do to yeah, these they, guys? You know, it's tough. So you're saying that, like, having two people just to come up with challenges... That are up yeah. to their, that are, uh, that are to their level. Yeah, I mean, that, like I said, the reason I quit is I got frustrated. I couldn't do anything. I felt like oh, I couldn't. I didn't know why. I, didn't, I actually didn't know why you quit. Oh, yeah. I, I, I shot myself. I mean, I, I, I you probably shot yourself should've... with your wad? Like, which, which metaphor are I you trying to. I shot myself in the foot, maybe? I yeah. Cut I, off I, my, I, which I metaphor? Cut off the baby with the bath water's nose? In I don't head. know. Uh, no, I quit because. I felt like I didn't have any more ideas. I didn't know what to do to them. You know, I had them jumping from fucking planetoid to planetoid in the chaos of the elemental plateau. Like, right. Right. I can't have them fight spiders <laughs> anymore. Well, what if it's a really big spider? I mean, I definitely want to come back to it. They love those characters, and well, I love them too. Those characters are awesome. But coming back to it, I'm going to need help. I just... Yeah. Well, listen, do we want to try to work that? I mean, do we want to try to make a... A strip about that, like like how to deal with that power creep stuff. I mean, we've dealt with like traps and things like that, but mm -hmm. this is a very specific problem. This isn't just like screwing players. Yeah. Even just numerically, they're a force to be reckoned with, but they are so clever. They're so clever, and they've had so. I mean, they played for what, two years, they're three years. They're so clever. They've got so much shit built up, like because you because you have to reward them. You have to give them these magic items, like it's like oh, I can freeze all water. Oh, right. I All forgot, water. I forgot about that. <laughs> well, I can open magic doors in solid stone. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. I mean, I feel, I feel I, like... I have a house that I keep in my backpack. Your backpack house. Right. Yeah, yeah I'm saying that, like, there, I think there may be a strip to deal with that specific thing of characters that get basically too big for their britches. Like, yeah. there's no way to... You can't create a world. Yeah. They stopped a the planet. They have that fucking rod that you can put in place and it is immovable. <laughs> and so they were in space in the elemental chaos and they had to stop that, they wanted to stop that planetoid from spinning. So they fucking stuck the orb there so that the planet would hit it. It ground out like a huge chasm in this fucking planetoid. I was like, you have a rod? What? But you must have given them I gave this them rod. this goddamn rod at some point. And they remember it. They're like, oh, we've got that rod. And I'm like, what rod what do you rod? have? What? What? Yeah. But yeah, I mean, what do you think? What do you think? Uh, well, now I just want to think about games. And well, yeah, exactly. But, exactly. <laughs> but, 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 but that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, I think in the same way that eventually we stumbled on, you know, making comics as a way to talk about what we were talking about anyway. Yeah. I mean, I, I think there's, there, there's probably a, a synergy opportunities yeah, when, it, sure, when it comes right. to talking about what we want. Yeah, I mean, you know, I think we did a... Didn't we do a strip where Gabe ended the campaign? I don't think so. Because I thought... Didn't can, Tycho say, like, you'll never come back to it? I can do research. It doesn't happen or something like that? Oh, here. Dungeon Master's Fatigue. You're right. Yeah. For the last two years, you have held in your mind the machinery of an entire universe. <laughs> and for what? So they can dick around and eat pizza. Your pizza. Because they are animals. What am I supposed to do? What every dungeon master has done ever for all time. Persevere? Shit, no. Quit in a huff. <laughs> That's right. 
Exactly. But but the idea that it's like you you don't want to but you don't want to do that. Yeah. Right. I mean you you want to you want to come back. Um. And, and I you know I want that too. I mean the end game on this one is going to be hot because of all the custom characters we already made up. Yeah. It's going to be fucked. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean you know maybe Tycho feels bad for telling him to quit. Yeah, that's possible. You know, like... It was a test. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you told me to quit, it was a test, and you failed. Yeah. Like, even, even that is something angry. Yeah. I didn't expect you to really quit. But, I mean, he's... He hasn't offered, I don't think, to help yet in the strip. Like, he's well, watched... No, he, he offered, he, he's offered, every now and then, like, he's done some speaking to the reader. Right. He did traps... And he's offered you bad advice. Bad he's, advice. he's sort of worm-tongued it, but he's never... I don't think he's ever genuinely been like, what's actually wrong? Exactly. Like, Let's join forces. Yeah. And so, yeah, so in my opinion, the first two panels have to do with that discussion, and the, the second panel is, is Gabe bringing up the problem, and that last panel can be what it's... Like, hit these characters. Yeah. Like, the kind of shit these characters can do. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. <clears throat> The idea that he told you to quit, and then you quit, and then he's still mad at you. Yeah, that was a it was test. A, works for me. It was a test, and you failed. What I miss is that, like, you know, back around 10 or even 11, like... The magic? The, well, the first time they fought, like, an Illithid, that fear, like, this thing will kill you. It'll oh, eat yeah. your brain and kill you. I just don't know how to do that anymore. The robo-Illithid. That's it. Yeah. Yep. All right. I can see that this partnership is really going to work out great. <laughs> uh, let's see. We can't fight goblins anymore. They've been collecting magic shit for three years. They don't give a shit about dragons. They eat dragons. The game is Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, but the idea that they don't care about either one. <laughs> they don't give a shit about dragons anymore. <laughs> It's like, they're playing Dungeons and Dragons, but they don't care about either. They're so powerful, they don't give a shit about either one. Yeah, yeah. they just buy that shit at the store. Why would they go get it? Like, they should just pay another adventuring party to go get this stuff. <laughs> if we're talking about <clears throat> Gabe, Gabe complaining about, you know, this power creep, and he's struggling to challenge... Yeah. How do you challenge a group of, you know... Gods. Near gods... I just didn't know what to do, you know? And it's like, Tycho's like, if one DM isn't enough to challenge them, you know? <coughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. What about two DMs? Are, are you offering to... No, exactly. You know, perhaps two will suffice. Yeah. You want to be an assistant to the DM? Assistant DM. Maybe two DMs would suffice. <laughs> because that's that's the... You know what I mean? Like it's, that's the right thing. Like the like the finger on the chin. Yeah. Are you suggesting we team up against them? You join forces? Rule the galaxy as father and son. Yeah, yeah. This is this is the right vibe, I think. Yeah, it's it's closer. <coughs> what are you? What are you? <laughs> what what are you saying? Well, you know, if 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 there's space. Yeah, where you can get to Tycho saying in the second one, like, you know, what are you saying? It's like I'm suggest I'm saying that we should team up. And then the third panel is like, uh, Kiko and Brad and Pork, and they're like, Oh, did you just get really cold? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I felt like, like a million souls. <laughs> like, <"Ooh, coughs> what's that? Oh, I just got the shivers. Me too. Someone's walking on your grave. Such a weird saying. It's awesome, isn't it? Yeah. I love it. So, you in frame two, you want to get to what are you saying? Well, if if you want to punch it with the the group feeling uh, disturbance or feeling cold, then we would have to get to it in two, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I don't know if that's possible. Exactly. So, so I mean, but no, no, it, it's it's. I think it's. I think it's. I decided to tune it up a little bit. That's easy. Um. So, so then, what are you saying? And then you move right to the the players. Yeah, I mean, you have Gabe, you know, what are you saying? And Tycho's like, I'm saying that if one DM isn't enough, uh, 
you know, maybe... I mean, right now, if one DM... I, I, it might be better to, I, I have, if one DM cannot defeat them, perhaps two will suffice, then it's, what are you saying? I mean, I think that's probably enough, because I've already said it. Right, right. Right? So then that last Or maybe, panel, are you saying what I think you're saying? Yeah. Yeah, so how, how do we show those players? Or do we show those players at the table? Well, I don't think we can get to the table yet. I mean, I think the storyline has got to be a bit more of their collaboration, right? Yeah, okay. Before the table. Yeah. But them... Just, you know, they're out, they're hanging out somewhere at a restaurant or whatever, and it's like... Oh, just some of the other players that we've seen before? Yeah, I mean, I think that the... I think it's known in the context of the strip yeah. who's in the game. Yeah, let's see. Like Kiko and Pork. Right. <clears throat> I'm just trying to figure out how to phrase that. The third panel? Right. I think it being subtle might be... Yeah, yeah. Could do... Uh, like, there's, you know, three of them there or whatever. It's like, ooh, it's got a shiver. Me too. What was that? Uh, someone's walking on our grave. Could be good. You think so? The part, we have to remember that we already laughed at them reacting. That's the funny part. That, that they would feel something. That's funny. Right? Yeah, that's true. What gets said, I don't <coughs> think is as important as their, the fact that they're reacting yeah. Because when I said that, they, that we would yeah. cut to them and, and they react, we laughed. And it's a little bit of dark foreshadowing, Jerry. Yeah, exactly. As a writer, you should know about that. I'm always foreshadowing things. Ugh. It's kind of a shiver. Me too. We all felt it. That's weird. Yeah, I think that's it. Especially like, especially with if it has a dark connotation like that. Yeah. I, I feel like that's that's spooky enough, because it, the the implication is it, like it sort of implies what they're doing back there. Hey Jerry. Yeah. That's marvelous. Yeah. I'm, I'm amped up now. It's like a penis in a vagina. Okay. The strip, the strip is complete. Okay. You actually quit your D&D campaign? You told me to. It was a test, and you failed. They're level 21. They've been collecting magical bullshit for three years. They're playing Dungeons and Dragons, but they're so powerful they don't care about either one of those things. If one DM cannot defeat them, perhaps two will suffice. Are you seeing what I think you're saying? Ugh, I've got a little shiver. Me too. Someone walking over my grave. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yeah, no, that's actually pretty good. Yeah. I was wrong. <laughs>